we restart on Monday. However, the, I'm, I'm happy to say that the teachers are very keen despite everything that has transpired and I really appreciate their patience in the matter as well to be able to get the class four students back in um, from tomorrow. So class four students at um, Belmont Primary will be in school from tomorrow and Friday. Um, teachers are also coming back in to work with the principal to be able to get the school in preparation for that. We've basically also brought in some industrial cleaners to give the additional support to the janitorial staff as well to make sure that the surroundings are clean and suitable for the students to come in on Monday as well. Okay. Well, you've gone in a different direction. I don't think the, the issue is necessarily the contractors per se. This particular situation at Belmont was really not the contractor's fault. This was um, what we would, we would refer to as in, in law as force majeure. Mm -hmm. um, as a consequence, you know, consequences beyond the control of the contractor um, have resulted in a process that now has taken us in a different direction. And I think that um, in the course of normal construction, things change. Sometimes materials are not available. Um, sometimes variations have to be made. The reality, and I think people need to appreciate it that these buildings are old these buildings have not been maintained and so sometimes even with the scope of works having trying to be as precise as possible you encounter things along the way which the technical staff could not have envisaged at the time sometimes the contractors themselves I mean you know they've, they've done their um, there's the quantitative surveyors have come in and they've been given the costings but then what happens is something else pops up that we did not anticipate now as you can appreciate with variations there has to now be a process in government where you have to go back for funding um, to be able to to move around funds to be able to allocate those funds to get the additional works done so it isn't so much contractors as it is sometimes the process because we, we are not able to action things as quickly as we would like but it is something that I've spoken to Prime Minister about we've been speaking to the entire team in the ministry to try to be able to even do mobilization for a number of these contractors particularly during the summer program because the reality is when you say you have eight weeks of a vacation truth be told you really only have about six or sometimes five because at least one week particularly in the long summer vacation is the teachers week for planning for the, the next for the students this next cohort of students coming in the first week the contractors are on a site trying to make the preparations and basically get their mobilization and stuff in order so there are a few things I think for me it is about lessons learned from this process um, I think we were trying to really settle the school environment which has not been settled for some time to try to avoid a number of the issues that resulted in closures last year um, yes there's been inconvenience but I think this is a far better situation long term and I hope that we can um, you know settle the situation in the schools where we will not have not that we're not going to have any but I think that we will have we'll see a reduction this year in the number of complaints okay